Ethan, can you hear me? I'm talking to you. What's going on? I don't know. I feel sad. How about you? Me? No. That's strange. Maybe I'm sick. Grandpa Billy! Grandpa Billy! Ethan is sick! Well, it seems that you feel sad. Uh-huh. I know what's wrong. It's called... Sad Disease. Is there a cure? Of course. But you must find a flower to cure it called Taraxacum officionalis. And where does that flower grow? Oh, it's right behind that hill. I'll find that flower and cure you. You'll be happy again. I promise. Oh no. The bridge is closed. We will never find a cure. No, we will. Are you sure you can? I will do anything for my friend. Ah. Uh. Uh, I'm not scared at all. Oh. You can do it. Look, you're almost there. Oi! Oi! Uh, Ethan, help! Help! George, I'm coming! George! Hold on! <coughs> it's good. I didn't get rusty. But on the other hand, we were almost there. <coughs> it's so far. <sighs> we are in place. Ethan, look how amazing it is. What are you looking at? I wonder how we should go down. I guess this is the way. Ethan, I think I found... George! I'm coming! Ethan, where are you going? There are only dandelions here. That's right. I should have guessed it earlier. Terexacum officinalis is the scientific name of dandelions. Couldn't you guess it earlier? You can't even imagine how adventurous our trip was. And we found some magic dandelions. I see that you feel better now. Are you still sad, Ethan? No, I'm not sad anymore. We picked up some Terrasacum officinalis, as you've told. Me? Really? I don't remember that. Don't you remember? You sent us behind that hill to pick up some ta- I mean, dandelions. I don't remember that. Take care of yourself. Grandpa Billy! I got it. You made up that story with dandelions so we could have some fun, right? You're exactly right, because a journey into the countryside is the best cure for any disease. I would love to explore this better. Guys, I have an idea. A long, long time ago, my scientist grandfather used to have an experimental reducer. I guess that's it. Let's see how it works. Hmm, then see you in your garage in the evening. Come on, enlarge it quickly!
All changes occur with the help of an invisible magnetic field and a very powerful electric current, which will be enough for our city. That's why... What's going on? We are getting smaller! George, you told us it was a magnifier, but in fact, it was a reducer. <laughs> We're lost. <laughs> no one will find us. The reducer works with the red crystal, and the magnifier works with the blue one. We might have lost it on our way. Let's go find it. We have two hours to find the crystal. Otherwise, we cannot return to our previous proportions, the book says. What an amazing world, right next to us. Hmm, and we didn't even know it. Oh, let's go there. That's our crystal. How shall we get there? Oh no, it doesn't work. Being small does not mean being uninventive. Just don't drop the crystal. We need it unscathed. Ethan, be careful. Oh, wow! <laughs> Ethan, come on! It will be dark soon! It's so heavy! Do you think it's easy to be small? <gasps> oh! That's just a leaf. Being small is scary. We must return soon or we'll stay small forever. It's ready. Here we go. Oh, it doesn't work anymore. And we didn't even have time to explore the ship. Oh wow, we're almost there. Huh, nobody can get higher than us. Watch out. Anthony! Wait! How do you climb so easily, even with weight? And we're out of breath already! My grandpa taught me this. <sighs> oh, I'm tired. Grandpa, why don't you ever get tired? Hmm, it's because I've been training since I was a child. A lot? How much is that? Every time I climbed the hill, I took a rock with me. And when there were many rocks, I became strong. Look. Oh, wow. Can we train with you? Won't you change your mind? It will be very hard. No! <sighs> hmm. Hmm. Well, well. Every day they're climbing the hills with rocks. I must find out why.
Here we go. One more rock. Aha! <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. I caught you. <sighs> Why are you climbing the hill every day, huh? We are training. We want to be strong like Anthony. Will you join us? I don't want to. I'm busy. Uh, it will take them forever to carry one rock at a time. Uh, I can do better. Uh, I'm genius. Uh, uh, one more step. I'm here. That's Sam Sparky. We must help him. <laughs> Pour out the rocks. I can't do it! <laughs> Turn the arrow. Why did you pick up that many rocks? I wanted to get strong fast. But when you're hungry, you don't eat for a year ahead, right? Yeah, because you can burst. But I would never burst. Well, of course. You do train every day, after all. <laughs> <laughs> Helpful tips for small trains. Author, Professor Florna. Guys, we must read this book for sure. <laughs> it says for small trains. We don't want to read it with you. <laughs> Imagine that you are on a very high bridge. Ethan, can you imagine or no? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm imagining now. <gasps> wow, that's cool. Just a little bit cold, but we can change it. There are two tips. First, lie down, which I already did. Second, close your eyes and scream, help. Help! Help! Professor Dunlora's tips are really strange. Imagine that you're in a dark, long, and tumbled tunnel. Welcome to our dark and scary tunnel. Awesome. I always wanted to have fun in a tunnel. If you are lost in a tunnel, lie down, close your eyes, and scream, help! I'm not going to scream help anymore. Professor Dunlora must be kidding us. I'm going to find the way out. Dead end and take a chance if you're brave. Hmm, let's try dead end. No, we are brave. We are not choosing the dead end. We 
could stop imagining. I'm already dizzy. Ah! 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 Cool! This is really fun! We're in the next chapter now. But I don't know how to swim. Can we scream help? I see someone else is reading Professor Dunlora's book. Help! 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 They are wild. I'm afraid that they can eat us by mistake. They can't get back. We should help them. Thank you, guys. We started reading and couldn't come back. You know who Professor Dunlora is? That's Arnold, upside down. <laughs>
Ethan, don't worry. The gift doesn't matter. It's more important that you remembered about my birthday. You are the best son in the world. <sighs> Guys, let's play tag. It's boring. Then let's play hide and seek. But we've played that a hundred times. Then the game of silence. And what are the rules? I'll tell you. Did you get it? One, two, three, and four. Say no words, the game is on. Sam Sparky, are you home? We're going to watch a movie. Are you with us? Uh -uh. He doesn't want to? Okay. I guess we'll go without him. Oh, Arnold, help me, please. The gates are narrow. I can't fit in. You show me the way. I don't want to hit the gate. Ah, uh, oh. Now, do you see what happened? Then why didn't you say something? Vera, I told you that you should call me when it boils, and now the whole family is hungry because of you. You could say you're sorry. Mm -hmm. What does mmm mean? Doctor, please help my son. Now, what do we have? Flu, or are you running a temperature? Worse, my son doesn't talk. What? Another one? We have seen seven others that don't talk. There's an epidemic in Train City! Kids can't talk! We must take emergency measures! Yes, yes. My son hasn't talked in two days. And mine. And mine. Everybody is silent? It means they are playing a game. Hey kids, are you playing the game of silence? <laughs> we will cure all of you now. What should we say? Oh, I've got it. Five, four, one, two, three. Now you're free. <laughs> Finally, we can speak. I would never talk first. I wouldn't either. And I can keep silent for a whole week. And I for one year. We forgot that we were once kids like them. And I used to play the game of silence. And let me tell you a secret. Once I kept silent for four days. <laughs> manly without glasses. George! Are you coming? Isn't it too cold outside? Oi! George! George! 
George, did you fall down? No, I just thought it's underground. We should put a fence here, or someone will fall into the hole. Oi! <laughs> Hello, T Trollykin. <laughs> George, can't you see it's D Trollykin? Hello, D Trollykin. George, where are your glasses? You can't see without them. I can see everything without glasses. Mrs. Dove, your dress is very pretty. Hello, Wendy. It's not even funny, George. George, let's see who can jump farther. Hi! <laughs> wow, that was awesome. Come on, George. Where are you? I'm here. There are two robbers in Arnold's house. Oh, they just tied Arnold up. Oh, what should we do? <laughs> George, you must be confused. What robbers are you talking about? Scary. I got you, Arnoldio. Tell me where my treasure is. I won't tell you, Black Scorpion. I'm not afraid of you. You will never get my diamond rails and the golden sleeper. Diamond rails? Oh! I should save him. Hold on, Arnold. George is coming to save you. One, two, three. I'm counting. One, two, three. Arnold, don't tell Scorpion where the diamond rails are! <laughs> You're funny, George. Diamond rails! Diamond rails! <laughs> I really can't see anything without my glasses. I have to wear them again. George, you're the bravest train I know. <laughs> Ready, set, go! Good job. You have the best results. Who would doubt that? Sam Sparky is the leader of the competition after the second jump. He is winning now. It's okay. We have one more jump. Arnold is getting ready for his second jump. I believe that he can fly this time. I doubt it. Huh? Oh! <sighs> I can't believe it. It's a failure again. <laughs> Arnold, where are you going? There's one more jump. I don't want to try. I can't fly anyway. Wait, I've got an idea. Really? These wings are way better now. Are they this big because I'm fat? No, you are just big. Oi. Hey, you look like a pterodactyl. <laughs> 
Try not to fly away. I can fly. I can fly. Yay! And now Ethan gets ready for his third jump. Ethan loses to Sam Sparky. There are only George and Arnold left, and we will know who the real champion well, is. Well, it's clear that I'm the champion. These kids could never defeat me. Excuse me, George will not jump for technical reasons, and please welcome Arnold to his final jump. George, what's wrong? I can't open my wing. I think it's stuck. But you had a spare one. I gave it to Arnold. I can do this. I can fly. He is flying. But does he know how to land? Ah, the earth. Ah, ah. I can't believe it. Arnold is the winner of our competition. And Arnold gets the Champions Cup this year. Congratulations. Hey, George, wait, here, my prize is yours. If you didn't help Arnold, you would have won third or even second place. Take it. If George didn't help Arnold, you would have won second place. George, George, take it, it's your cup. If you flew with these wings, you would have been the champion. But I'm not sure of that. Then let's jump one more time. Hooray! Ethan, where are you going? Today is April Fool's Day. We're going to have fun at the party. <laughs> hey! Pull the string and find a gift. <laughs> hey, George, Ethan asked me to give you powder for magic tricks. You put it in the flask and the color changes. Really? We can do it at the party. Here, come and try it. <laughs> Oi! Oi, 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 oi! I don't understand anything. No, you don't. Happy April Fool's Day. <laughs> Happy April Fool's Day. Oh, I'm late for the party. Vera, stop. I feel dizzy already. Stop it. Finally, here they are. Hey guys, what's wrong with you? Sam, Sparky, and Fantastic pulled April Fool's Day jokes on us. That's why we're late. But those aren't very nice jokes. What should we do now? You could give them a prize. <laughs> <laughs> Our jokes on Ethan and George were really funny. Here you are. I've been looking for you. You have a prize. What kind of prize? For the best jokes. You get free rides on a roller coaster for joking with Ethan and George. Ah! My turn. <laughs>
photos. Is this a joke? Isn't it funny? Your jokes weren't funny for me and George. Nobody loves bad jokes, but good jokes make us happy. Hey friends, press the subscribe and watch the new episodes.